At the start of the school year, we are able to now sign up for Google Apps for Education, or, or GAF. This is a new program that's been available to us through our district. Um, the first place you want to go to is https colon forward slash forward slash accounts dot google dot com. There you'll see all of the accounts that you've logged into on your computer. You can see I've logged into a lot of accounts. Um, but when you start with your new account, at the very bottom it's going to say add account. So I click on that and I enter my email. Since it's a school account, I'm going to enter my school email. And then click Next. The default password for your school email is going to be Aurora129 with a capital A. And then it's going to prompt you to change your password. You want to make sure that that password is something that you are going to remember um, when you can come, so you can come back into your account. After you've gotten into your account, it's going to take you directly to Google Drive. Here you can save up to 15 gigs of photos and documents um, within that drive. Um, your files will always be accessible online as long as you have um, the internet connection. You can organize them, you can add any files that you have, Excel, Word, PowerPoint, or you can use the Google Suite using pages and sheets and slides. So once you go through that, you're into Google Drive, and it's almost like a shared drive at school, only it's available online. So I could click on New, use a doc, which is a word processing program, a sheet, a slide, a Google form, or I can connect more apps. Please view another video to get more details on Google Drive. Now, why would I want Google Drive? The great thing is you can tie your Google Drive into your Schoology account. So if I go into Schoology, and if the, it's the first time I'm using Google Drive or GAF, I can click on the App Center, and one of the first applications that show up is Google Drive. I click on Google Drive, and I can install it into my resources. So I would click on this, give it a few minutes, it's going to say Add to My Resources, and I would click Install, and it says my Google Drive has been saved. So where does it show up? If I go look up here at the top, over here in Resources, I go down to Apps. I've got a few apps installed here, but if I go to Google Drive, it automatically connects my school email's Google Drive to my um, SD129 account. This way, I can share any notes or any um, surveys, any PowerPoints, any Excel sheets to my students within my courses without having to log in. Now, if it doesn't automatically connect, You would go to Oops. There we go. Um, you would go to Options and Account Settings. So let's say you're seeing information from a personal Google account. Um, it tells you what you're connected as, mpsychish at sd129.org, and I could switch it out if I had another account. Let's say I had a personal Google account, but it was a different account that I had. I would look up here, make sure that it was the one that I would connect to, um, and then click Accept. Because I don't want to connect to Katie Armstrong's account, I would hit Cancel here. Any other questions? please feel free to contact Melissa Seikish at mcikesh at sd129.org.